So there's a couple of options when it comes to selling hollow buildings. You can either sell individual buildings or blueprints. But to get to that point, we need to come to the hollow buildings in the bazaar. You want to come over to the drop down menu, click on resources and then click on hollow blueprint. In the top right of here, you'll see the option to sell an item. Clicking this will take you to the listings page. If you already have hollow building blueprints saved, they will show here in the list, allowing you to select one which enables you to go to the next steps. If you don't have any blueprints saved, I do have a hollow building editor tutorial that takes you through the first steps to creating and saving your first hollow building and blueprints. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Right, but once we do select a hollow building, an image will appear to the right of it, showing you which one it is. You can then add some hashtags or create your own. These just make it easier for users to find specific things within the marketplace using the search bar. Below this, we have license types. Selecting hollow building gives the buyers one building per purchase, but they can get multiple purchases, they can place this on the properties, they cannot edit or resell this building. Selecting blueprint will allow buyers to edit the blueprint and they will be able to place as many buildings on their properties as they want. They will also get the option to sell hollow buildings or even the blueprint. Now, to the right of this, you can set the price. The minimum price is one cent, which actually lists it for two cents because of the Earth 2 listing cost. As you can see, changing your price also changes the listing cost. So play around with these to find a price you think is fair for your work. Unfortunately, there's no option to change the list of names from this page. If you do want to adjust those, you do need to go back to the Hollow Buildings Editor and change it from there. Now, if you've finished with your listing, the next step is to click the Add Listings button. You will then get a Your Listing is being prepared pop-up and you will need to wait a little while before you can find your own listings. Unfortunately, there's no portfolio page. The only way to know if they've been listed or even remove the listings is to search for your own work and check them from there. I hope this has helped and good luck with your sales. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have an amazing day.